what is going on guys? My name is Nick, you might know me from YouTube, and today we're back at it again with an awesome gameplay commentary over here on Carnage. It is a double nuclear on Skyjacked by Carnage Swifty. If you guys do enjoy the video, Swifty's channel will be the first channel, link down below in the description. He's right around that 16,000 subscriber mark. Let's get him to 16k. He's on the road to 20k. Of course, if you enjoy the commentary, my channel will also be down there on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and I do appreciate all the love. If you do enjoy this video, though, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Let's shoot for 750 likes on this video. If we could do that, that would be awesome. If not, that's okay, too, but it is the best way you guys can show your support for us, and it means a lot to us. And if you want to stay up to date with everything, going on on Carnage. Never miss an amazing gameplay that we post on here. Please be sure to follow all of our social media. It'll be linked down below in the description. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, as well as subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and you want to see amazing quality Call of Duty content every single day. In this gameplay we have Swifty using the VMP. He's using the UAV, counter UAV, hater as his score streaks and running the scythe as his specialist. Alright, so I'm sure most of you guys, if you have a Twitter and if you follow any Call of Duty accounts on Twitter or any Call of Duty YouTubers on Twitter you have seen the whole Call of Duty then versus Call of Duty now comparison. It's a funny picture that I saw on Twitter. It shows Call of Duty then, it shows a picture of a guy in a ghillie suit, and it shows the map Bog, and then it shows Call of Duty now, and it shows Advanced Warfare, the guy in a whole decked out gingerbread outfit, and a very colorful map. I think it's a Black Ops 3 map. And it's basically just making a joke that Call of Duty then was like actual war. Call of Duty now is a complete colorful joke. At least that's what this picture was trying to say. Not saying that I agree. I think Call of Duty is just in a very different state now than it was then. But it is funny to look at. And that brings up the question that everybody seems to be asking recently is, is Call of Duty better now than it was then? And obviously there will always be people with different opinions. Some people will say yes, some people will say no. But I think the whole point of this is trying to find where the majority of Call of Duty fans lie on this issue, where the majority of the Call of Duty players, what they think about this. I could write a whole book about why Call of Duty was better then than it is now, but I've been preaching that since day one. There are a lot of times in life where you don't realize what you have, how good you have it, until it's gone. This actually does kind of apply. A lot of times you'll think about this in like a relationship, or maybe a job or something, but it can apply for the current Call of Duty game as well. Why do you think so many people go back to old Call of Duties when new games come out? You don't realize how much you actually enjoyed that game until the new one comes. Now, that does not count this year, really. Nobody's going back to Advanced Warfare. That's because Black Ops 3 is significantly a better game than AW was. And nobody really went back to Ghosts either, but you understand, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's because everybody went back to BO2 last year. There's this show called The Office. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the show. I'm sure a lot of you have watched the show as well. I binge-watched nine seasons in like a month. It was ridiculous. I fell in love with that show. It was awesome. But anyways, there's this character. His name's Andy Bernard, and at one point in the show, he says this awesome quote that I really, really liked. He says, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you left them. And that quote, I think, is just absolutely genius. I think a lot of times in life, we're always looking ahead to the future, looking ahead to our next step, always telling ourselves that the future is going to be better. That's when our life is going to get great. But what this really says is that you need to live for the now. Now, how does this have anything to do with Call of Duty? Well, I may have gotten a little off topic, and I do apologize about that, but what my point is, is that you're always going to look back on the past, and things are going to seem better than they actually were. If you were to play some of the older Call of Duties now, I bet you wouldn't have as much fun as you remember having back then. Now, do I think World at War is better than Black Ops 3? 100% yes, I always will. My mind will never be changed about that, but my point is, is that in your memories, things are always better than they actually were. So, in regards to do I think Call of Duty has gotten better over the years? Yes, I think it has drastically. I think the mechanics have improved greatly, the gameplay has improved greatly, the graphics have improved tenfold. Call of Duty now is a better game than it was then, maybe just not the type of game that you want. But don't even try to fool yourself and say that Call of Duty has actually gone backwards since then because the gameplay right now is so much better than it was. It just might not be the exact time period you're looking for, and I do understand where you're coming from on that from the number one World War II game supporter you're listening to right now. But yes, I do agree with a lot of people who say we should go back to old style Call of Duty, but obviously just bring the improvements that they've made over the years and add them to an older style game. Down below in the comments section, let me know what you think about this whole thing. Let me know what the first Call of Duty game you ever played was 
And did you enjoy Call of Duty more back then, or do you enjoy it more now? I think the majority of people are going to say they enjoyed it more then, because in your memory, things are always so perfect. And I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay by Swifty. Swifty impresses me every single year with how good he is at the game. Literally every single year new Call of Duty comes out, he just slowly starts to dominate again year after year. It's unbelievable. Love watching Swifty's gameplays. Please be sure to go check him out. When I'm making this commentary, he's about 200 or 150 subscribers away from 16,000. And I know he's really looking forward to 20,000. Hopefully we can get him there pretty soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. I'm sorry if I got a little off track there in the middle, but it was all to come around and make one big point. And that is basically just live for the now because you're never going to realize that your favorite moments are the time that you're in right now. And that may be complicated to understand. It's kind of complicated to say sometimes. I actually think I might sound dumb saying it, but it makes sense if you really think about it. I love all you guys. I'll talk to you very soon. I'm out of here. I'll see ya.